Oh man, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news items all wrapped up in one epic video. Let's go. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope dope nintendo switch news items for one video but before we get started give the video a thumbs up brah let's get it over 300 likes all right the first news item coming from comicbook.com and they are talking about when the Switch is going to be released and what's actually inside the console. This is coming from Nintendo leaker Nate Drake, who has been correct in the past. He's going on record to say, and I quote, I do believe it'll be announced in the coming fiscal year. The plan was to release this year, but I suspect it'll be delayed into 2022. Now, when this is what y'all have to understand. Fiscal year, different from calendar year. Nintendo's fiscal year actually runs through March 2022. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The original Switch launched in March. And so I'm giving the Switch Pro one of two launch dates. November, about a week before Black Friday, which is when the Wii launched. And, when, and I think the Wii U did too. Their last two consoles. Now, the Switch came out in March. And so uh, either it's going to be November or March for the Switch Pro, in my opinion. Also... The article continues that the um, DLSS uh, for the Switch Pro will be in the hardware and it won't be coming through the dock. There are speculations, possibilities that the Switch, the actual console will be the same or close to the same specs as the current Switch with just a better, larger screen and the boost in processing power could come from the dock and not the actual console but an uh, article saying it could be coming from uh, that everything will be in the console meaning if you play in handheld or docked it's going to be the same power powering the system i think technology has advanced far enough to enough to where we're at the point where it should happen that you could put a PS4, 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 PS4 type pro power in the handheld form factor, in a handheld form factor. We're going to have to see interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. All right. Next news item, bro. There is another gaming event about to happen. Matter of fact, as I'm doing this video, I think <coughs> Microsoft is doing their event. I'll talk about it after. Most of the Xbox events have been a snooze fest and they have about one or two good announcements. So I'll just talk about the one or two announcements in another video. But Square Enix has just announced today that they're going to be hosting a Nintendo Direct style presentation on March 18th. 40 minutes and they've st they've listed some of the games that will be featured and there will be more in the presentation outriders marvel avengers tomb raider 25th anniversary new square enix montreal game so new games just cause mobile and balan wonderworld which a demo is available on the switch and so square enix 
will be having their own digital presentation March 18th. It seems like more and more companies are copying Nintendo's direct style format. Sony started doing it with the state of play. Now we have a 40 minute, a 40 minute presentation from Square Enix. So should be, should be, should be dope. The next news item, bruh. It says there was a temporary server error. Please try the video again later, <laughs> Nintendo. But this is the video we wanted to play. Bro, Nintendo is killing it once again. The latest software and hardware charts have been released for Japan because Japan does them every week. The US NPD comes out once a month, but Japan, it gives you a tale and a glimpse of what Nintendo is doing in the land of the rising sun and they're crushing it. Bro, the Nintendo Switch once again, every game in the top 10 is a Switch game. That is crazy. The Switch is crushing it in Japan. They have all top 10 spots and the hardware sales are even more telling. Last week, the Switch sold 89,000 units, almost 90,000 units in Japan. PlayStation 5, 22,000. Matter of fact, and the Xbox is in the hundreds, not even a, a thousand units of Xbox. 566 Xbox consoles were sold in Japan last week. Bro, the Switch has more than tripled PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, 3DS, and Xbox console sales if you combine all those sales the switch has still more than tripled all of those sales combined nintendo is dominating the sales charts can't wait to see what they announced this year with the pro as far as the switch pro come on nintendo we need more power i'm gonna tell you why we need more power this game right here apex legends has been um, compared between the PS4 Pro and the Switch, and there has been mixed um, um, uh, feedback and reaction to the game on the Switch. Personally, I like it. I like the game, I like how it's running. Um, I'm coming it from a perspective, my expectations weren't too high for the Switch, bro. A handheld, it's playable, it's passable on the Switch. Now, I also said this and I say it again, it does remind us that we do need an upgrade for uh, the Switch. Looking at the Switch Pro comparison, this is coming courtesy of Game Explain. Shout out to Andre, Game Explain. Um, this shows us, because if the Switch Pro is rumored to be around the PS4 Pro level, that would be dope. That would be dope because games run pretty good on a PS4 Pro. So Apex Legends is now out. It's a free download. Go check it out. Next news item. Masahiro Sakurai has spoken. Now, the latest Smash character or characters, Pyra and Mithra. And I have to say, at first when they were announced, I was like, ah, more sword fighters, blah, blah, blah. But they're pretty lit, bro. They, I'm having so much fun using that combination. So Sakurai has explained why Rex was not included because many thought, all right, we got Shulk, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The main protagonist was is Rex. Why not Rex? And why his sidekick? Now, I do think Rex will be in whatever the next Smash game will be. But this is what Sakurai says. When it was decided that we were to create a character from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the very first thing I thought about was how to show and move Rex and Pyra at the same time on screen. But a conclusion that it's impossible came at a match speed. I somewhat requested the team to inspect it but it was impossible. When we talk about two people who move as a single group, there are ice climbers. They have the same look 
and can only do the same things. When we tried Rex Pyra, it was clear that we could not do an essential task to have their data. So that makes sense. He was saying the reason why they were able to have the ice climbers work in tandem because they look the same and they can mimic their movesets. But Rex and Pyro would be two completely different character designs and probably would have been too much of a strain on Smash because as it is right now, Smash 1080p rock solid 60 frames per second, except when you're playing online because we all know how the online servers are. But he gives an explanation why they just nixed them and just um, decided with Pyra and Mithra because most of their movesets are the same and they're not on the screen at the same time because in Xenoblade um, Rex and Pyra are actually working together they're linked by that ether cord or whatever but in Smash not so much all right dudes those are all the news items for this video we sort of went all over the place today but whatever what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound off in the comment section below I want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out bro i had to reset my software there's still some frame skips a little bit in the video but the glasses didn't go on my bro whatever we out peace